guys, it's Running Kimono. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are all doing great. Kind of a gloomy day here in Michigan. We have the um, tree that's looking pretty sad. And uh, no kitties today so far. Special hi to my mom if she's watching. And I hope, again, all of you guys are having a wonderful Monday. So let's talk about a couple of stores that I went to today. This is kind of looking like a wimpy haul, but believe it or not, guys, after everything was said and done, um, I think this washes out as a free haul. Like all this stuff on this table, totally free with coupons and store deals. And um, yeah, it's just fantastic. Right here, we have a little bit of Meyer action. We'll talk about it th that at the very end. Right here, we have Walgreens. And then right here, we have Rite Aid. Um, so first store we're gonna talk about is uh, Walgreens. Now they have that really fancy schmancy um, buy 25, uh, get back 5,000 points. And um, I decided I, instead of doing a really big haul like that, I would much rather pay a lot less out of pocket and get um, stuff like this. Doing two smaller hauls, but still getting this stuff for free. I think this is just the way to go. Um, obviously when you do those those bigger hauls, it's more of a spectacular looking haul, but this is a little less. But believe it or not guys, I think for this one, I paid um, 12 cents out of pocket for this haul. And then for this haul, I paid 26 cents. So I didn't even break a dollar bill. So this is my kind of couponing and um, yeah, two transactions because um, there are new rules with the points. So um, you can't really go crazy anymore, but you know, I'm okay with that. Uh, so this first transaction I did, a uh, special shout out and thanks to Nini Coupons as uh, she posted this on her Instagram and it's just, the deal is absolutely fantastic. So first thing I grabbed for this transaction was four of these soft soaps and they are the 7.5 ounce. They are in a buy one, get one 50% off. And when you buy four, you get back 4,000 points. And it includes these tiny ones. If your store might be cleared, check a side end cap. So a lot of times near the body wash and those sort of sections, there are like side end caps where on the um, corner of something, they'll have a bunch of these um, soaps tucked away. So you might wanna look there, or even if everything's cleared, you can always ask if they might have any in the back, and sometimes they do for this product. It's a real meat and potato sort of thing, so they're always loading up on this stuff in the store. And then I also grabbed four of these mint Oreo Milka bars. Why I went with this one, um, I don't really care for these candy bars whatsoever, but why I went with these ones, cause you know, with uh, Christmas just right around the corner, I thought, you know, mint that always goes really well with stuff. So I thought, you know, it'll make my, throw that in with a nice gift. Someone will be really happy with it. So four candy bars and four hand soap. So let's look at my chicken scratches um, of what I bought. We have the um, hand soap, $1.99 times three. As it's a BOGO 50% off, one will be completely free. Thus, you're only really paying for three. So that's why I have it times three. So that's a price point of $5.97. These um, Oreo Milka candy bars are 75 cents each. So times four is three bucks. That is a subtotal for all this good stuff of $8.97. Now in the smart source of 1104 last weekend, there's this. And if you bought inserts from Sandra Coupon Hustler, this was one of the coupons included. So using four of those that's subtracted two dollars and twenty cents and how you're going to want to do this transaction is scan your store card get your cashier to scan all of this stuff present four of these coupons first and then what you're going to do is get your cashier secondly to scan this but present the manufacturer coupons first because it'll actually give you a little bit of overage because if you tabulate the coupon value plus the IVC, that's $4.20 and you're only really buying $3 of um, those candies. So that gives you a balance of $1.20 overage. As I have four of those soaps and I don't have any coupons for it, um, the overage gets used to pay for this. But if you're just going in expecting the, the cash register to give you back a dollar a dollar twenty, that's not going to happen. You need something to grab your overage. So anyhow, after that, the coupons um, it's four dollars and seventy six cents, not including tax. With the tax here in Michigan, it was five dollars and twelve cents. I surrendered five dollars of points. I got four thousand back. 4,000 back when I buy the four um, hand soaps. So basically, it's a loss of a dollar of points. But in my second transaction, I do make up for it over here. So I will show you guys in a second what I did over here. But let's just look really quickly at the receipt. There it is, the candy. 
the IVC, all of those coupons, 12 cents. So that is paying very, very little out of pocket and that is my kind of couponing, even for a loss of a dollar to get four of those hand soaps. Yes, please, and thank you so much. So in, so that was transaction one. Transaction two, I grabbed two of the sensitive Colgate toothpaste and these are the six ounces, so the bigger ones. Plus, I grabbed four of these candy bars. And the coupons that I utilize, both of these are from the 1104 Smart Source. So if you bought coupons last weekend from Sandra Coupon Hustler, you will be in business because you'll have all of these coupons, including this 55 center and then this $2 one. So these six items, again, four and two. Let's look at my math. So the toothpaste is $3.99 times two is a price point of $7.98. 75 cents times four for the four candy bars is three bucks. That is a subtotal of $10.98. Toothpaste, we have uh, those $2 coupons. So two of them subtracted $4 plus the 55 centers from the smart source of 11.04, subtracting $2.20 plus. So I presented the manufacturer coupons and then I scanned the IVC from the um, November Big Book of Savings, and this is what it looks like found at the front of the store, free to take. Subtracted another $2, $2.78, not including the tax. With tax, it was $3.26. I used $3 of points to pay this down, and I had to pay 26 cents out of pocket. Now, I bought as giving back 50 cents for each of these sensitive toothpaste by Colgate, so I got a dollar back already. Plus I got back 4,000 points. When you buy two, you get back 4,000 points this week for the uh, Colgate. So that is fantastic. Let's look at the receipt really quick. There's my candy, my toothpaste, all of my wonderful coupons, and yeah, it worked out perfectly. So just absolutely fantastic. And then when I got that extra dollar from Ibotta for this, it basically covered the, the loss of a dollar here. So this was just absolutely fantastic. Again, if you purchase coupons from Sandra, you will be in business with these two coupons to score a couple of these deals, um, these two specifically that you'll need. Um, to score some of these deals and they're it's just absolutely fantastic and with the Christmas holiday coming I thought um, the mint one would be the smart one to buy so very very pleased with that loving loving Walgreens this week I will definitely be going back to do some more deals and I think doing these smaller deals instead of you know the spend 25 get back 5,000 this is just a little better for me this week so very very pleased with this okay the next store that we have is Rite Aid and um did a couple little deals, nothing too crazy. Um, the first thing I got was four of these Suave Professionals and um, it is the Moroccan oil one. And yeah, why not? They are two for five. We have a three off of two found in the 1021 Smart Retail Me Not. And so I used two of them, um, that subtracted um, six bucks. And um, so theoretically, I should have paid four out of pocket and got back $4 of bonus cash. But what happened here was I had a $3 load. Yesterday I had both a three and a $1, but today only the $3 one came off. And basically I paid a dollar for this and got back $4 of bonus cash. So it made it like a $3 money maker. Yesterday was a lot better, but I'll still take this one. Um, so let's look at the math again. These guys are two for five. Now I doubled that because I wanted to max out the deal. 10 bucks, I used um, two of those three off of two coupons, subtracting $6. Um, a $3 load coupon also came off. I paid a buck out of pocket. Got back my $4 of bonus cash, making this a $3 money maker. The limit for this is two, and as I grabbed four, it is maxed out. Let's look at the receipt here really quickly. As you can see, um, Coupon one, coupon two, coupon three. So yeah, very happy to get this stuff. And um, yeah, just fantastic little deal. Uh, the next thing I got on this store card, and yeah, I have two store cards, both mine and my husband's. So this was done on my husband's card list today. I grabbed two of these little um, Santa Claus Russell Stouffer marshmallows. Also a great little thing to throw in for Christmas. Um, they are 50 cents each, so for two of them it's a buck. I paid that dollar out of pocket and got back a dollar of bonus cash. That's a limit of one, making both of these little guys completely free. And then the last thing I grabbed, and um, I grabbed one of these um, micellar waters, and this guy was on clearance. Now, I wish I could have found a second one, because it would have been a much smarter deal to grab two of them, but unfortunately my store only had one on clearance, and he was on clearance for $2.49. Now there's a $2 coupon in this weekend's Retail Me Not, I'll show you that in a second, that scanned perfectly. I paid 49 cents out of pocket. Now, 
I have a special bonus, and I think most Rite Aid people have this on their um, store card. It's when you spend 50 on various beauty stuff right until December, so you have a couple of weeks to, to, to do this deal, you'll get back a $10 gift card. Um, so I actually qualified for my gift card today. And then um, this is the coupon that I used, and it scanned perfectly, even on the clearance stuff. And um, I got my $10 rated gift card, and I will be keeping this for Black Friday because there's going to be like, I think, four or five freebies on Black Friday. So I'm going to be ready to pay those down. And then as I got so many Unilever products, the um, Simply stuff and then the Suave, I actually got back 500 uh, Fetch Rewards points because I scanned my little um, receipt and I got 500 points, which is like 50 cents, which is still, hey, better than a kick in the, kick in the pants, that's for sure. Um, if you have not heard about the Fetch Rewards app, it's absolutely fantastic fantastic. You can just do um, photographing your receipts and you will get extra points. And when they're Unilever products, you get extra points, which is fantastic. So all of the information to sign up. And if you use my code, I'll flash it here on the screen, you will get um, an extra 2000 points, which is $2. Uh, when you submit your first receipt, it can be a pack of gum from a week ago you bought at Walgreens. It could be anything. And it's just absolutely fantastic. Of all of the money saving apps, it is my absolute favorite one. So sign up. You guys will not be disappointed. Okay, the last store that we have is Meyer. Meyer is a grocery store here in the Midwest only. So this is a little freebie that I discovered uh, on Saturday. And it is um, to get these Neutrogena bar soaps for free. These guys are $1.99 and it must be this specific one. Um, it is found with the makeup wipes, that sort of good stuff. And it is $1.99. There's a $2 M perk and it zeroes this guy out to free. You just have to pay the tax. So just absolutely fantastic. If you want to get a photo of the UPC, there it is. So I did this over two store cards today um, because these little soaps, um, who doesn't need them? And here's a picture of the receipt. And here's a photo of the receipt just to show you that this actually still works today. Boom, free item, I just paid tax. And while I was at Meyer, um, I found this book and usually they have these like you know, um, extra savings, extra coupons. And this one's for November and December. Not a whole lot of coupons in here, but hopefully we can make something happen out of them. I found them right at the front of the store with the flyers. So that's where you would look for them. My husband likes sparkling water. So that San Pellegrino one might be a, a good one if it goes on sale. Whole lot of recipes and stuff too for the holidays. I kind of wish there was a coupon for the C4 because I would love to have some, but eh, I didn't have any. And then this one's also fantastic. And it's good till March of 2019 on these um, Spice Island. Um, they're very expensive. Sometimes they go on clearance. So you might want to just, of all the coupons, this is the one you're probably going to keep in your binder. And it's a manufacturer coupon. It's not a, a Meyer coupon. So definitely fantastic. And then also in the mail before I take off, um, this came. And if you were a Sephora shopper, it's 25% 20 off between November the 9th to the 12th. So um, just fantastic to get uh, makeup on the cheap. So that is coming pretty soon. And it's just a little holiday bonus. So you might want to keep your eye out in your mailbox in case you are part of the Sephora club. So that's it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully you can get out to Walgreens to get some of these awesome deals. And Rite Aid is also just as fantastic. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.